I'm sure that we were not wearing the same color today. <laughs> so I all green. What does it mean to, to get two straight months together? It's everything. You know, I think this is what we go to work so hard for each and every week to be able to come out and feel like this after a hard game like that, you know? And so, man, I'm excited. To have I've been this. I've been saying I've been excited. Saying I've been excited since the last an hour, so can't even call it. To have this kind of balanced attack, running game, wide receiver, you know, Matthew doing what he always yeah. does. How much does this help build momentum for this team? You're having a couple of wins in the last five days and then preparing for an upcoming opponent. Yeah, I think you could just tell how we came out to play today, especially in the second half. You know, when you know we weren't maybe as efficient as we wanted to be, then the defense picked us up. Right? And now we're picking the defense up. So I think we got that belief and that mindset that we're a team and we're all going to feed off each other, whether that's good, bad, or indifferent. And we're going to, you know, keep on rolling with the punches and then face adversity head on. Two wins in five days. We can hear the music coming out of the locker room. How different is the energy around this team than it was entering the bye? Um, definitely different. You know, entering the bye, we came off the Packers, you know, after a loss and whatnot. Um, and just wasn't in the right mindset. But now we came off, you know, came off that bye, came, got a win against the Raiders, and then came back and got another win. It's just huge and it's great momentum um, coming into next week. But you know, we gotta still stay humble. You know, we can't get excited, we can't ride the the high wave of you know being a winner because we still gotta go to work and you know prove it again next weekend. Can you talk about the passes you received underneath in the underneath in the coverage? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, some of the, the first touchdown we we had that game plan and it was in the red zone package from the beginning of the weekend. You know, when I got my number called, it's about execution. That's all it is at that point. And I, I, I figured out the best way to make it that play happen. You know, Matthew found me and got me the ball, so can't ask much more. When you look at how with Puka and Cooper back, it just seems like the whole field opens up. Yeah. How do you explain that from a running back standpoint? Shoot, I mean, look at that first run. I mean, you see that as that's open up like this. You know, that's big credit to my old lineman, but also just being able to come out first play. They seen that we were throwing a Puka, so they, they probably thought that we were going to be aggressive, trying to get him the ball, trying to get Cooper the ball, and then we came out second play and ran the ball for a first down more than, you know, a, a probably maybe it might be an explosive run, but, you know, just – we were able to switch it up. You know, we were like Coach McVay always said, is you gotta be a be, to be able to be a pitcher. Switch up the pitches and you know catch them off guard. And that's what I think we did a lot good today. Like two more guys. Extra pressure far less 